Hey YouTube, welcome back. Paul Phillips here with PathTech Web Design. Today we got an interesting review for you. Uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, Phoenix brand Smart Flash. This is a ring flash that uh, we purchased about a month ago from B&H Photo in New York, and it was about $89. But um, as production shooters, we do a lot of uh, photography inside automobiles. We're always taking pictures of small objects, and so we thought we should uh, fine-tune our macro skill set a little bit, and we wanted to get a proper macro flash to work with, and so this was the product that we bought, and I had some apprehensions, probably the same as you, as to the quality of the product. So let's get right into it. We'll take a look at it and uh, see what you think, okay? so. The main part of the, the unit itself, you've got a flash unit that mounts on your hot shoe. You've got your, uh, your flash ring that mounts on the end of the lens. And my initial impression is, for what we paid for it, the quality of it is pretty good. It really is. Um, you know, we're going to use this thing maybe twice, three times a month. Or if you're a wedding shooter, to have this in your bag, you want to shoot some uh, ring shots, that kind of thing. Uh, I, so far... Uh, in the month that we've had it, the quality of shots, and I'll put some shots up on the the uh, video for you, are phenomenal. I mean, uh, really good quality, um, and it's TTL, so it's super convenient. So let's have a look inside the box. This will be a quasi bo uh, box opening, I think, because we opened it a month ago. But um, you get everything you need. There's a little instruction manual. And the crux of what you need comes in these little, you know, cellophane packages. The main parts of the ring flash are all packed in these nice little uh, bubble packets, so it's fairly well packed for what you're paying for it. It's made in Singapore, so I can't think of a single other thing that's made in Singapore, but, you know, again, like I say, for what we pay for it, it does the job. The quality's been pretty good so far, so let's have a boo. Okay. There's four adapter rings in all, and I've marked the packages here for the two macro lenses that we have. We have sort of a semi-macro, which is our Nikkor 28-105. to It has that little switch. Uh, it's not bad, but uh, we also now have a Sigma, a dedicated macro lens, which is a Sigma 105. And so... Basically, these adapter rings are all you need to hook this thing up, and I'll show you the way we use it. Basically, I found from repeated use of this uh, ring flash, the easiest way to set it up is to take your lens off of the camera. And then mount your adapter ring on the back of the LED, like so. And then take your lens... And your lens just threads on like so. And then put your lens on the camera the way you normally would. Click it into place. Bring your flash unit up onto the hot shoe. Tighten it in. Turn it on. Turn your camera on. And really that's all there is to it. So when it's on the camera, there's what she looks like. Okay. Uh, you'll also notice, or something uh, I, you know, I'm pointing out to you, is that there's a, a kind of like a big gear on the the end of the LED or the flash unit itself, and it just allows you, if you need to, turn the LED unit. Like for example, with our Nikkor 105, when you're focusing, uh, the the lens is actually turning in and out as it moves. So you may have to reposition the LED, which is you know a minor little adjustment. With our Sigma lens, is internal focus, so we don't have that issue. Uh, so very simple to use. Once it's on the camera, just point at whatever you want to shoot at, and away you go. So I like it for its simplicity. The quality of the pictures that we've been getting are great. One other little thing I can show you here. Um, let's just take the flash. We'll pop the flash unit off. Another convenience, I think it's a convenience anyway, <clears throat> is that it just uses four AA batteries to power the flash, and you can get those anywhere. So, you know, same batteries you already have for our, our other flash or speed light units uh, we're able to use on this unit. And uh, pop that back in there like so. 
So like I said, if you're a wedding shooter or a production shooter like us and you're, you want to fine tune your uh, macro photography or do some close up work, that kind of thing, I would have to say that the uh, Phoenix brand, Smart Flash 46, is a pretty good value for the money. You can pick it up at B&H and uh, it'll do the job for you. And that's it for this one and we'll see you next time. Take care now.